हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर न्यू चैप्टर वेस्ट जनरेशन एंड ट्रीटमेंट फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज वेस्ट वेस्ट इज एनी मटेरियल यू डू नॉट रिक्वायर एंड यू जस्ट थ्रो अवे Almost all human activities generate waste. So, waste is any unwanted substance or material which are disposed of or required to be disposed of. It is generated due to many activities like in domestic area, agricultural field, urbanization increasing demand for consumer goods industrialization etc we also call waste as rubbish trash litter junk or garbage in biology waste is any unwanted substances or toxins that are expelled from living organisms such as urea sweat or fecus in india the generation of the waste is increasing daily we can see heaps of waste along road side in the streets in the hospitals many school backyards near water bodies at the public places etc this waste is risk to human health and environment thus waste should be properly managed under the united nations environment program a number of un and national agencies are trying to find the innovative methods to dispose the waste the unep means united nations environment program suggest do not waste money on waste make money from waste now let's know about the classification of waste liquid waste which is commonly found both in households as well as in industries this waste includes dirty water organic liquids wash water waste detergents and even rain water children waste liquid is also called as effluent effluent means waste water which comes out from the industries or agricultural fields solid waste solid waste can include a variety of items found in our household along with commercial and industrial locations example plastic waste paper waste tins and metals ceramic and glass different kinds of wrappers and packaging materials now organic waste organic waste is a common domestic waste all food waste garden waste manure and rotten meat are classified as organic waste over time organic waste is turned into manure by microorganisms however this does not mean that you can dispose them anywhere organic waste in landfills causes the production of methane so it must never be simply discarded with general waste instead we should look for some green bin 
for proper waste disposal or we can do composting next recyclable waste recyclable waste or rubbish includes all waste items that can be converted into products that can be used again solid items such as paper metals furniture and organic waste can all be recycled instead of throwing these item in in uh, with regular waste we can place them separately in yellow bin or at proper place which can be sent for recycling later on next is hazardous waste hazardous waste includes all types of rubbish that are flammable flammable means material which easily catches fire then toxic corrosive and reactive these items can harm us as well as the environment so it must be disposed of correctly children just remember that there is an urgent need for proper waste management and we all can do it very easily because for proper waste management waste should be managed at the source itself means waste should be managed from where it is generated and the first step is segregation of waste we children can do a lot we can do we can take initiative and do a lot of work on it and i am 100% sure that we stefanians we all are doing our bit we all are segregating the waste at home to make our home 0% waste generator as we are doing in our school to make our school 0% waste generator children broadly waste can be categorized into two types biodegradable and non biodegradable waste first let's take up biodegradable waste a biodegradable waste has the ability to break down safely and quickly by biological means into the raw material of nature and disappear into the environment every resource made by nature returns to nature leaf is the perfect example of biodegradable waste leaf dries and fell down on the ground then microorganisms in the soil get to work after some days leaf get assimilated into the soil to nourish the plant children we should never burn leaves because it causes lots of air pollution and hence health problems children in india leaf burning is banned because it leads to air pollution health problems and fire hazards leaf smoke may also contain hazardous chemicals such as carbon monoxide which can bind with hemoglobin in the blood stream and reduce the amount of oxygen in the blood and lungs another chemical mostly present in leaf smoke is benzopyrene which has been shown to cause cancer in animals and is believed to be a major factor in lung cancer caused by cigarette or smoke leaf smoke causes irritation in the eyes nose and throat 
of healthy adults it is also very dangerous for small children and elderly people especially those people who are suffering with asthma and heart or lung diseases now non biodegradable waste waste which cannot be degraded or broken down through our natural agents like microorganisms are called non biodegradable waste because they are not degraded or broken down through microbial activities like fungi and bacteria examples of non biodegradable waste are plastic items leather aluminum cans petroleum synthetic pesticides thermocol etc non biodegradable waste persist in the environment for a long time get biomagnified become toxic and cause lots of health problems students depending upon the sources of origin waste can be classified into following categories like number 1 domestic waste number 2 industrial waste number 3 agricultural waste number 4 construction waste number 5 mining waste number 6 hazardous or toxic waste number 7 biomedical waste number 8 e waste and number 9 radioactive waste so today go through this video once again carefully and learn about waste classification of waste two main categories of waste then depending upon the sources of origin different types of waste in the next class we will learn about impact of waste accumulation treatment of waste and different methods to dispose of the waste very effectively then problems of solid waste management in india then treatment of waste water and basel convention thank you children stay home stay safe god bless you all